guys. My dreams and goals are coming to reality. How I will get done is not my business, it's God's business. What I would do if I was you, because see, when you first start speaking your affirmations, your affirmation is something that you're expecting or something that you want to see happen to you in the natural, in the future, right? But what happens is that in the beginning, you don't believe yourself. In the beginning, you don't believe yourself. But guess how you're going to change that? So a man thinking in his heart, so is he, right? And life and death is what? Bound in time. time. You don't need a prophet to prophesy to you. You prophesy over yourself. Y'all do know that, right? Absolutely. So as you're speaking this in your ear, guys, do, do this. I challenge you, starting tomorrow morning, wake up and start speaking that one affirmation that I just said. My dreams and goals are coming to reality. How I will get done is not my business. It's God's business. And when you speak it, start pacing your floor. I don't care if you got to walk around your dining room table. I don't care if you got to walk back and forth in your hallway. Just say it and keep saying it. Every time you say it, you should get louder and louder and louder. Let me tell you when you're going to know you had a breakthrough. You're going to start crying. You're going to get real hot. Your body yes. going to feel real hot. And you're going to burst out crying. You're going to know that you had a breakthrough. And you're going to memorize that one affirmation because you have literally put it into your subconscious mind by speaking. Because what? Repetition, right? Repetition, right? So that's the affirmation that I use. Now, the last thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to sit down because I don't talk y'all to death. It's something I share with Trent. She asked me to share with you guys. I'm going to do it with you all. As you're visualizing this person, guys, how many of y'all want a new house? How about a paid off new house? No mortgage stuff. Anybody want a new car, a paid off new car? <laughs> well, here, here's what you guys do, right? My husband is overseas, and your husband's gone too, right? Oh, okay. Well, my, my husband is overseas, and, and I just had a baby boy. He's actually two months old. He'll be three months on December 18th. Um, and, and there's a lot of things that I want. I'm not going to go through all my 20 uh, New Year's solutions, not resolutions. My New Year's solution. I'm not going to go through that because I, I know the sake of time. But I'm going to share with you guys how to write down your future, and you're going to begin to have this to be crystallized in your mind, and it's going to now be your commercial. Does that make sense? Meaning, no more idle time. Do y'all know that the, the uh, idle mind is the devil's work? Mm -hmm. You ever sit around? Anybody ever had a thought come in your mind? You'd be like, shut up. You ever heard a verb? Anybody ever heard, heard a voice in their head? Yeah. A negative voice? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anybody ever heard a negative voice in their hand? Yeah. Yeah. You tell this voice to shut up. Yeah. It's because your mind is too idle. You need to put something in your mind. So I'm gonna share with you guys how I wrote my future vision down, okay? And I encourage you guys to do it too. And I've literally written it down to the point where when I read it, you should be able to actually visualize it in your head. Because see, you cannot hold two thoughts in your mind at one time. If I told you to picture the what's the what's the Statue of Liberty right now? If I say picture the Statue of Liberty in your head right now, and then picture your, your kid, or picture your dog, or picture your husband. One thought is gonna go away. You can't hold two thoughts at one time. And so whenever you find yourself idle, once you get this commercial in your head, that's what your thoughts should be on. Not nothing crazy, but this right here, whatever your commercial is gonna be, right? So put together a vision of your future, but write it with feeling. Write it with feelings, guys, so when you read it, you get emotional, you get excited as well, okay? Let me share with you mine. So, we pull up to the airport, jamming to Drake. Drake, y'all know Drake, the artist. <laughs> <laughs> jamming to Drake. DJ 